Welcome to Pioneer's Knowledge Hub. A tsunami is a series of large ocean waves caused by abrupt and powerful disturbances in or near bodies of water. These disturbances can be triggered by various natural events, such as underwater earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, landslides, or even the impact of a large meteorite in the ocean. Tsunamis can travel across entire ocean basins, carrying enormous amounts of energy and causing significant damage when they reach coastal areas. Tsunamis are often mistakenly referred to as tidal waves, but they are distinct from regular ocean tides. Tides are caused by the gravitational pull of the moon and the sun, leading to the regular rise and fall of ocean waters. In contrast, tsunamis are triggered by sudden geological events or underwater disturbances. Key Characteristics of Tsunamis Tsunamis, or seismic sea waves, possess distinct characteristics that set them apart from regular ocean waves. These characteristics contribute to the devastating impact tsunamis can have on coastal areas. Understanding these key features is crucial for predicting and preparing for tsunamis. Here are the primary characteristics of tsunamis. Tsunamis have remarkably long wavelengths compared to typical ocean waves. Wavelength refers to the distance between two consecutive wave crests. In the case of tsunamis, their wavelength can be hundreds of kilometers, miles, long. This means that a single tsunami wave can span a vast distance across the ocean. Tsunamis travel at high speeds through the open ocean, often exceeding 700 km per hour, 450 miles per hour. This rapid speed allows tsunamis to cover long distances in relatively short periods of time. Despite their high speed, tsunamis typically have low wave heights when in deep open ocean. In open waters, they might not be noticeable to ships at sea as the energy is distributed across the long wavelength. This is one reason why ships in the open ocean are not significantly affected by tsunamis. As tsunamis approach shallower coastal waters, their behavior changes dramatically. The decrease in water depth causes the waves to slow down and bunch up, resulting in an increase in wave height. This amplification of the wave's height is one of the most significant characteristics of tsunamis and contributes to their destructive power when they make landfall. Wave shoaling is the process where the speed of the wave decreases as it approaches shallower waters near the coast. As the wave slows down, its energy becomes concentrated, leading to an increase in wave height. This process is a crucial factor in the amplification of tsunamis near the shore. Tsunami waves have the ability to inundate coastal areas, flooding the land and causing significant destruction. The high speed and long wavelengths of tsunamis allow them to travel far inland, often affecting areas that are usually considered safe from regular waves. A tsunami is not a single wave but a series of waves known as a wave train. The first wave may not be the largest or most destructive. Subsequent waves can vary in height and intensity, and the interval between waves can range from minutes to hours. Tsunamis generated by events in one part of the world can travel across entire ocean basins, affecting coastlines thousands of kilometers away. This global reach underscores the importance of international cooperation in monitoring and responding to tsunami threats. In summary, tsunamis are characterized by their long wavelengths, high speeds, low wave heights in deep open ocean, amplification near coastlines, and the potential to inundate coastal areas far beyond the reach of typical waves. These characteristics make tsunamis uniquely powerful and require proactive preparedness measures to minimize their devastating impact on communities. Tsunamis are caused by sudden and powerful disturbances in or near bodies of water that displace a large volume of water. These disturbances can be triggered by various natural events, and each type of event has its own unique characteristics that lead to the generation of a tsunami. Here are some of the primary causes of tsunamis. Underwater earthquakes. The most common cause of tsunamis is underwater earthquakes, particularly those that occur along subduction zones. Subduction zones are areas where one tectonic plate is forced beneath another. When an earthquake suddenly shifts the seafloor due to tectonic plate movement, it displaces a significant amount of water. The sudden displacement of water generates a series of waves that propagate outward from the earthquake's epicenter. Volcanic eruptions. Volcanic eruptions, especially those involving the sudden collapse of a volcanic island or the explosive eruption of an underwater volcano, can displace water and create a tsunami. 
The rapid expulsion of volcanic material into the sea can create an underwater landslide, triggering a tsunami. Submarine landslides. Large landslides occurring underwater, whether caused by volcanic activity, tectonic forces, or other factors, can result in a sudden displacement of water. These landslides can create a massive disturbance that generates a tsunami. The sudden shift of sediment and rocks can displace a large volume of water, setting off a wave. Meteorite impacts. Although extremely rare, the impact of a large meteorite or asteroid in the ocean can create a significant disturbance that displaces water and generates a tsunami. The impact energy, combined with the water's inertia, can set off a wave. Glacial calving. In some cases, the breaking off of a large section of a glacier into the ocean can displace enough water to generate a localized tsunami. This phenomenon is more common in polar regions. It's important to note that the key factor in generating a tsunami is the sudden displacement of a large volume of water, which creates a ripple effect that propagates outward as a series of waves. These waves can travel across entire ocean basins, carrying the energy of the initial disturbance and eventually reaching distant coastlines. Tsunamis are characterized by their immense energy and potential for widespread destruction when they make landfall. As such, understanding the causes of tsunamis and having effective early warning systems and preparedness measures in place are critical for minimizing their impact on coastal communities. The behavior of tsunamis is complex and can vary depending on factors such as the cause of the tsunami, the characteristics of the ocean floor, the shape of the coastline, and the depth of the water. Understanding the behavior of tsunamis is crucial for predicting their impact and ensuring the safety of coastal communities. Tsunami Safety and Preparedness Tsunamis are extremely dangerous natural events but there are steps individuals and communities can take to increase their safety and preparedness. Know your risk. If you live in a coastal area or visit one, it's essential to understand the potential for tsunamis in your region. Familiarize yourself with evacuation routes and areas designated as safe zones. Stay informed. Pay attention to tsunami warnings and alerts issued by local authorities, national weather services, or tsunami warning centers. These warnings can provide critical information about the level of risk and the necessary actions to take. Evacuation Plan Have a clear plan for evacuation. Know where to go and how to get there quickly, especially if you are in a tsunami-prone area. Follow the designated evacuation routes, signs, and instructions from local authorities. Emergency Kit As with any disaster preparedness plan, have an emergency kit ready. This should include essentials like water, non-perishable food, a flashlight, batteries, a first aid kit, medications, and important documents. Vertical evacuation. If you cannot move to higher ground due to mobility issues or lack of time, consider seeking refuge in a multi-story, reinforced concrete building. Head to the upper floors, as taller structures provide better protection against the oncoming waves. Natural warnings. Pay attention to natural signs that may indicate an approaching tsunami, such as the ocean receding unusually far from the shore, a rapid rise in sea level, or the sound of an approaching roar, caused by the energy of the tsunami. Education. Teach family members, especially children, about tsunami risks, preparedness, and the appropriate actions to take. Schools and community organizations can play a role in raising awareness. Community planning. Coastal communities should have comprehensive disaster response and evacuation plans in place. Regular drills and exercises can help ensure that residents are well prepared for an actual tsunami event. Building codes. Construct and retrofit buildings in coastal areas according to tsunami-resistant building codes. Elevated structures and strong foundations can help buildings withstand the force of tsunami waves. Community drills. Practice tsunami evacuation drills with your community. Familiarity with the evacuation process can help reduce panic and confusion during a real event. Tsunamis are natural disasters that demand attention, preparedness, and a collaborative effort between governments, organizations, and individuals. By understanding the risks and taking proactive measures, you can significantly improve your safety and that of your community during a tsunami event. In conclusion, tsunamis are powerful ocean waves generated by underwater disturbances, primarily underwater earthquakes. These waves can cause extensive damage and loss of life in coastal areas, 
making preparedness, education, and early warning systems crucial for minimizing their impact. Please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.